Hi, Year 11. Um, I'm sorry I'm not in your lesson today. Um, it's unavoidable. Um, so I thought I'd make a video for you so that we could just carry on with what we were going to do if I was in school, which is um, a recap of percentages. So you had a look at percentages a couple of years ago, um, but we're going to recap over the basics today. And then um, in the next few lessons, we'll move on to some exam questions. So we're going to start with the number 120. Okay, that's going to be our 100%, the whole number. And we're going to talk about how we could find 50%. So see if you can remember how to do that. We're going to talk about how we could find 10%. See if you can remember how to do that. And we're going to talk about how we could find 1%. So see if you can remember how to do that. So um, I imagine you're all shouting out being so keen because you're like, yeah, we can do this. <laughs> so um, to find 50%, we need to half it. So 50% is half of 100%. So half of 120 is 60. Okay. Um, to find 10%, we need to divide by 10. So 120 divided by 10 is 12. And to find 1%, of 120 or of anything to find a one percent we need to divide by 100 so 120 divided by 100 is 1.2 okay so we're going to just write some little hints for ourselves there so we don't forget so this can be our little note section down here okay so to find 50%, we half it. To find 10%, we divide by 10. And to find 1%, we divide by 100. Now they are the only things you need to remember for percentages, okay? The only things because from there we can get everywhere else. So we're going to now use this and we're going to carry on with it, okay? So if we started with 10%, say, so we knew how to get to 10%, um, we could then go and find 20% and how would we get from 10% to 20%? We'd double it, okay? So double 10% is 20%. So that would be 24, double 12 is 24. Um, and then if we wanted to find 30%, say, we could add the 10% to the 20% because 10% plus 20% is 30%. And then if we went down here, say 12 and 24, 12 plus 24 is 36, and that would be 30%. And then if I wanted to find, say, 25%, how How would I get from 50% to 25%? I'd half it. So that would be 30. And then I've got 1% over here. So if I wanted to find 2% maybe, I could double my 1% and that would give me 
Or if I wanted, I don't know, 4%, I could double my 2% and I could find 4, it'd be 4.8. And then, say I wanted to find, I don't know, 33%. Okay, if I wanted to find 33%. I could use this one here, this 30%, and this 1%, and this 2%, because 30, 1, and 2 makes 33. So if I added 36, 1.2, and 2.4, be 39.6 okay so I guess what I'm trying to say is that if we just know how to find 10% 50% and 1% we can keep doing things to these like halving them doubling them um, timesing them by three something like that and we'll end up being able to find any percentage that we might need. One extra useful one would be how to find 0.5% and we would half 1% to do that. So that would be 0 0.6 for that one. Okay. So once you know how to do these three, it's really like a jigsaw. You can just take the bits that you want or you can keep halving or keep dividing by a certain number and get everything that you could possibly need for percentages. Um, so I would like you to copy this bit here into your books under the title percentages and the date. And then once you've got that in your books, um, I'd like you to have a go at the worksheet with the boxes and that is called percentage maze. OK, so have a go at that. Um, the teacher can pause the video now. And once you have got a good way through that, if anyone finishes, they can unpause the video and you can um, watch the next bit, which helps you with the next worksheet. OK. OK, so the next part of the video um, it's just going to help you fill in the next part of the worksheet, which is the table. It looks a little bit like this. Obviously, I don't have a printed copy at home. Um, and it's just if you've got um, a number in 100 percent, it's just like what we were doing up here, but just in a different form. OK, so if you've got 100 percent, let's say 650. To find 50%, you would half it. So that would be 325. Um, to find 25%, you would half it again. So that would be 162.5. To find 10%, we probably want to go back to this one because that's one of our ones that we know we divide that by 10 to go that way. So 650 divided by 10 is 65. And then to go from 10% to 5%, we would half it. So that would be 32.5 and so on. And to go from 100% to 1%, we know that we would divide by 100, so that would be 6.5. Here, we would times it by 2, that would be 13. And then, I'd probably just want to go up here and find 0.5%. Oh, no, actually, to get from 5% to 2.5%, I could half it. So that would be 16.25. Okay. Now, later on in the sheet, 
it gives you other values in the table. It doesn't necessarily give you the whole 100%. So it might give you the 50%. So say the 50% was, I don't know, 70. Then it would want you to go this way and find the 100%. So you'd need to double 50% to get to 100%. So it would be 140. And you can go from there. Or it might give you um, 1%. And you could times it by 100 to get the 100% or whatever. Okay, so it's a bit like a puzzle. You're trying to fill it all in. Okay, so I hope it's going all right. Um, some of them are quite tricky, but see how you go. Um, and I really hope that everybody's working as well as they possibly can. because You've been doing brilliantly so far this year. Okay, hopefully I'll see you next lesson.